I want to show you how easy it is to use the new mask filter on Corel Video Studio 10. Let's start by dragging a clip down onto the timeline. And uh, it's just me standing on the uh, River Derwent down there in Hobart. Just going to select the part of the track that uh, I want to put the masking effect into. And then uh, I just click on the mask effect button and this one is going to be as simple as I want some letters to rise up behind me out of the water uh, in, from the River Derwent behind me but between the mountain which is Mount Wellington in the background. So I just simply start off by masking out the area that I want to hide once I uh, put the wording in there. I'm going to use the still option rather than the video option of this one because I don't move too much so there's not a, a great deal of need for the mask to track me as I move um, out on the rocks there. I'll just speed up a little bit to make this happen a bit quicker. Once the masking area is filled in and I click OK, you'll see that a new uh, video appears on the timeline track. Now I just simply need to move that video down onto the third track and then write the words Hobart. This is what I want to appear out of the water behind me but between me and the mountain. And I'm going to use Customize Motion to make it appear to rise up out of the water. So just select the size of the font, make sure that it's down below the top line of the masked out area, and then I want to rise up out of the water with the same size font from behind me, so raise the lettering up, and I want it to stay there for a few seconds, so I'll just drag the scrubber along a little bit, put in another keyframe, make sure that the font's the same size, raise it up to the same point it was previously, and then it'll disappear back behind me, but I want the font to remain the same size. And if I play that, this is what it would look like without the masking effect. And you can see the lettering rises up in front of me, and I want the effect where the lettering rises behind me. And now you'll see it's just as simple as, there it is, letters rising up out of the water between me and the mountain. and then disappearing behind. But I note that there is a bit of uh, area that I didn't quite mask off right, so it's just as simple as to go back into the track, find the spot that wasn't masked the right, cover that in, so that's masked as well. And there you have it. Nice, simple, easy way to put some great effects into your video editing. Stay tuned for the full length video. Some people will try and tell you that Sydney Harbour has got the best views in all of Australia. Well, I'm here to correct them. Have a look at that view behind me. Clear blue skies. It's the start of August 2016 and that mountain, Mount Wellington rising 1200 metres straight up from the River Derwent with those dramatic cliffs below the summit. Snow on top. Sydney, I'm sorry, 
a, a poor second to this fantastic city.